should stay in again. Range clear. I might just have to. Right on the edge of my seat here. Here we go. The heart rate that you're hearing is actually mine. Let's come back to that. <laughs> Mete Gajos. Gold at stake here in Berlin. Oh, that's a lovely shot. That really is a lovely shot. What can the Iceman do? Oh, and it's a nine! It's a nine! And what a match we've had! It's been brilliant here in Berlin throughout the entire tournament. The finals venue has provided us with drama throughout. And what a fitting finale! Mete Gajos wins the individual men's recurve gold in an absolute thriller with Lee Rusia in a tiebreaker. And what a brilliant arrow to win! Well, 5-3 to Mete Gazos, so Nespoli still in a fight back in set five. Another great start from the Italian. A little bit of movement there. So the door is very much open for Mete Gazos on home soil and eight to take this bronze medal. And cue the crowd as Mete Gajos does it with a nine, winning the fifth set and taking the match 7 3. But still touching the ring and now by fighting for his life here in Berlin. Start of the third set. He has to at least tie or the match is over. <laughs> Gazos leaning over, unique to him, also pulls one out to the left. Be enough for Bade to get to shoot another end. Into the 10. That grouping of arrows on the left of the center, very, very tight. Yes. We're talking centimeters at 70 meters. Gazos nailing it into the center of the target. Oh. It gets a nine, a door open for Mete Gazos, a ten to take back-to-back -back titles here in Berlin. Oh, he's done it! The 2018 winner here in Berlin has done it again! Back-to-back -back victories for Mete Gazos of Turkey here in Berlin. He is a stage winner on the tour this season. He will be going to the Moscow World Cup Finals as a stage winner. Brilliant stuff from Mete Gazos of Turkey taking gold in Berlin. Sirikowski perhaps hasn't got that experience. And look, I mean, if you look at the shot from behind him when we see it, He's got a big screen. He's basically got that in vision, his peripheral vision, as he lines up to take this shot. Quite often as well, from my experience, they're always just slightly behind. So as you make a movement, you then see the movement on the screen because they're not completely in sync. And that can be really off-putting, like you say, especially if you're not used to it. Really long hold, fighting through to execute it. Nine, not bad. But he is against this guy. One lapse of concentration though. <laughs> Maybe last gas qualification. But when I make it, that looks like it's very close to the line there. 27. But here, uh, an 8 will be enough to do this in 9 arrows and go through to the semi finals with Olympic qualification secure. Oh, no! 
again close one to the line it's definitely a nine it's probably going to get marked up to a 10 but another 29 bare minimum and you saw the outpouring of emotion there very different to the women's quarterfinals in that uh, Gazos is the only Turkish answer in this lineup he has booked a place for Turkey at the Olympic Games and it is it's not even imaginable to think he's going to anyone else he's going to need everything he's got here trailing by five set points to three gets us underway and that's a beautiful start a 10 here and remember he's going to be looking over his shoulder at the next semi-final because Shiro whilst not out of this if he does go out he's going to be looking at with a Valadon unbelievable the pressure this guy is under and two X's fantastic Adjustment. I mean, he only, I think he's clipped the 10 there, but he's Copyright, Mackenzie Brown. <laughs> oh, <laughs> brilliant 30 when he needed it from Thomas Shiro. So he's got himself right back into this. Uh, five set points apiece, potentially, but it could be a perfect from Gazos here. Let's see. Oh, look at this. This measure is so important now. It's either 5-5. Five, five, it is. Oh, look at that. It has been marked up to a 10. And that means they both shot 30s in the final. As we've seen from the more experienced Valadon, who's struggling and battling with his process, we go into the third set and Jean-Charles Valadon sees himself 4-0 down. Don't write him off just yet, though. His release is sort of ending halfway through his neck at the moment. He knows it and he's just got to try and make them, you know, better, powerful and keep his back tension. Nine. Better. Hey. That, did you see the flow of that one? It went around the neck better. X. But it's just a ticking time bomb. If you're not shooting well like that, you know that it could go really badly. Yeah. So mentally it's not a good place to be and you want to shoot good shots. And that's why this mental fortitude from Gandalf is so impressive. Pressure here. Valdon needs a good arrow. Nine. Into the nines. Actually not bad shooting at all, uh, especially where he's going. But look, an opportunity for Mete Gajos to do this in nine arrows. Needs a ten. Ten to win. Gets the 10 he needs, and he's done it in style here on home soil. Nicky Hunt, you said he's doing this in front of his delegation. He's doing this in front of uh, the dignitaries here at uh, a very, very famous site for archery, especially in Turkey. He's done it in nine hours. Superb performance.